My name is Cassie Beer, and this is our son, Abram. And he's been coming to Camp Red Cedar for 10 years. Hi there, I'm Kelly Gerber, and this is my daughter, Elizabeth. Mm. And she's been coming to Camp Red Cedar for three years. Hi, I'm Angie, and this is my daughter, Haley, and she's been attending Camp Red Cedar for about two years now. Well, I'm Jim Nettiff, and it's been my honor and pleasure to be here at Red Cedar. And I think I've been here about a half a year, but in my heart, I've been here forever. So my name is Jeffrey Metzger. Um, I've been a counselor since 2016. My name is Kylie Hu. I was a counselor at Camp Red Cedar for two years, and then I took up a field supervisor position for two years. Camp Red Cedar is this rare gem in our community that there are summer camps built just for kids like Abram. And that's a really special and important thing to our family. Coming to Camp Red Cedar and knowing that she was here every week very consistently um, really just gave her a safe place to be and to be herself and to grow and to just um, enjoy being a kid again in many respects. And yeah. then for her to be able to do it around horses um, was just kind of an extra added bonus for her. It's given her the confidence to speak up and express her feelings um, and to share things with her, her independence, huh? The life experiences that a counselor or anyone who works here at Camp Red Cedar gets out of this experience is life-changing. If you're going through anything, you work here and it'll make whatever is going wrong feel like it's going right. And that's something I've really loved about working here is it's just, it makes you appreciate everything. And the lifelong bonds you make between counselors and campers and their families, it's something that's really special. It reminds me of, of my dad and his family and the love that they had. It reminds me of my wife and her family and the ties that they have and how lucky I am to have my wife and my kids and it just all comes together. It, it's a great place and it will add joy and commitment and independence to your life um, that you just, it's, you just don't know until you experience it. This is not a summer camp to them. This is something that they've dreamed of all year. They've been waiting for it. Maybe it was their Christmas present, something of the sort. But getting to just see them get out of that car with a smile, to be here where you're just here doing your job, that was always the best start of my day, is that they were excited to be at camp. To lead your own horse with one of the kids that we work with on his back, oh my gosh. I love to ride. It's my favorite thing to do. But I think it's getting pushed a little bit with walking and seeing somebody on my horse riding and smiling and being happy. It's hard for me not to cry every time I do that. It's worth investing in the lives of these amazing people who I know my daughter has changed my life for the good and so um, I look at the world in a much more empathetic and compassionate way because I have a human on the autism spectrum. Knowing that my child is in that safe space and I don't have to worry about her being teased or hurt or misunderstood, um, that, is, uh, that is the greatest gift that you can give yourself as a parent. When you have a child like Abram who can't always tell you if they don't feel safe, they can't always tell you if they feel uncomfortable, to come to camp at Camp Red Cedar and from the first person you see in the driveway saying, Hi Abram, I'm so glad to see you, uh, to pulling in and him getting out of the car and hearing counselors all over the parking lot cheering for Abram and knowing his name and then to see his face light up, uh, to know that you can leave your kid somewhere safe, that's not just safe but really fun, is a really precious gift to families like ours. We love Camp Red Cedar. We love Camp Red Cedar. We love Camp Red Cedar.